Hello, Batman. Do you recognize my voice? Victor Zaz. In the flesh. I'm so happy you remember me. I'll never forget you. I've got a special game planned, Batman. A game just for you. Ring, ring. Speak. Oh, Batman, you sound impatient. That is good. That is very good. You'll need that to solve my little game. You may have heard that I have been providing salvation to the mindless drones lucky enough to answer my calls. Hardly salvation. You've been killing them. That's a question of perspective. For example, from where I'm standing... I can see three little piggies just waiting for me to cure them of life. From their perspective, I'd imagine they see things differently. If you hurt them, Zaz, I will hunt you down. I bet you will. But first, a little game. Right now, somewhere in Arkham City, there's a phone ringing. I know it's a big place, but you need to find it. Take too long... And I kill these piggies. And don't try anything clever. I had a friend help me bounce the signal through every relay from here to Bloodhaven. You'll never find me. Now hang up that phone and start running. Ring, 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 ring. you about my first kill, Batman? No? As I am sure you are aware, my parents were dead and I was rich. So rich I could have anything I wanted, but of course, all I wanted was them back. I now know that that was impossible, of course, that their death served a higher purpose. But back then, I had yet to experience the joy of cold steel cutting through warm flesh. I had no idea how I could save these people from the relentless misery of their existence. You should have stayed that way. Really? Then I'll stop now. Find another telephone, Batman. Goodbye. Phone and answer it quick, Batman.
continue my story, I feel the need to talk, to confess, maybe. I was rich and alone, but not for long, of course. I took to gambling, or maybe it took to me. If only I had been good at it. Ah, I may not be where I am today. As my life spiraled out of control, I desperately formed a plan. A plan to win back my parents' money and be happy again. It didn't work, of course. Plans like that never do. But as I stood outside the iceberg lounge on that hot summer night, I remember feeling something. Hope, maybe. My flesh is begging you to fail, Batman. Will you? Ring, ring. Iceberg Lounge was crawling with the disgusting flesh of humanity. You could find anything there. If you had the money, of course. At the beginning, I seemed to be winning. The cards all went my way, and I found myself at the owner's table. For some reason, I thought I would win. That he would play fair. I looked around the table... I saw the people I was against. Card sharks, thugs, princes, and the disgusting midget who ran the place. One by one, they all lost or folded. The chips were piling up, and it was just him and me. My flesh is begging you to fail, Batman. Will you? Ring, ring.
They called him the Penguin, <laughs> even back then. He had both eyes, of course. That little accident hadn't happened yet. And both of them were looking at me when I put down my cards. Six of clubs. Six of diamonds. He looked scared. He leaned forward and I could smell the cigar stench on his breath. The six of spades and finally the six of hearts. I felt good. And then he started laughing. He belched out smoke and he put his cards down on the table. Card by card, my heart sank. A three, a four, a five, a six, a damn seven. A straight flush ended me there. I was lost and thrown out into the city to die. Penniless. my phone, Batman, or the killing starts. that I had been looking for. I stood there on the sprang bridge, looking out at the sea. I felt the warm breeze on my skin, and it felt right. I looked down and imagined myself falling into the blissful arms of my mother. And then he appeared. He held out the knife and demanded my money. My money! Can you believe it? I looked into his cold, desperate eyes, and I saw something familiar, something inevitable. I saw oblivion. I saw that we are all the same, stuck on a miserable loop that demands salvation. So I gave it to him. Run, 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 or the blood will start flowing. surprise when I grabbed his knife from his hands. It, it was instinctive. It was beautiful. In one movement, I sliced out his throat, 
and gave him the gift of salvation. It happened so fast, but I felt every joyous sensation. The blood sprayed over my face, and I saw what little life was left in his eyes. Leave. But then it was over. I felt lost. Like it had been meaningless. That no one would acknowledge my sacrifice. And then it happened. Without realizing what I was doing, I plunged the knife into my forearm and cut deep. It was incredible. I felt my body elevate to a higher place. It had become a temple to my work. You, you I will gut like a fish. <laughs> This is a glorious day for you to die on. <laughs> You're probably praying I will end your lives quickly. I won't. <laughs> Not describe with mere words the joy I feel as I make that mark into my flesh. <laughs> this is all too much fun, isn't it, Piggies? I'm enjoying myself so much. Don't worry, he'll fail. This time, maybe the next. Maybe he doesn't believe I'm going to kill you all. This is not over. It cannot be over. My blade will bathe in the crimson rivers of blood that will pour from the holes I cut into your body. You cannot deny me the mark. I need to make the mark. It's all I have left. This won't end here. I will get out of here and continue my work. You are going to be mine. When you least expect it... That psycho looked into my eyes and told me what he was going to do to me. I've never been so scared. He's locked up now. 
You'll be safe here. I owe you, Batman. This maniac was talking like he was gonna cut us up. He was. You'll be safe here for now. He's not going anywhere. 